Hello everyone and welcome back to Bistro Buzz TV. Today we're going to be sharing a Harris Teeter grocery haul and I found a few items that I did not know that Harris Teeter carries and a couple of items I just wanted to share with everyone so let's get started. I got two of the New York Strips boneless steaks. These seem to be really really good. You can put them in the oven 350 for about 20 minutes or 25 minutes depending on if you like your steak more well done or not, but this was $10.87 for two very large steaks, or another idea is the oven 360 for $3.50 for about 25 minutes or 30 minutes. It's so, so good. The oven 360 cooks them just as good, if not better, than your home oven. So I wanted to share that with everyone, and of course I got two of the baked potatoes. The Heinz 57, I try not to use Heinz 57 on steaks very often, but I do like just a little bit of that taste. I think it's so good. And then I got the Kraft Real Mayo. I wish everyone would just share a comment if you use Kraft, Dukes, or which brand of mayo that you use. I've heard a lot of people use the Dukes and they like that a lot better. So if you could just leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. And perhaps I need to try the Duke sometimes, but right now I've just gotten Kraft through the years and maybe I need to venture out and get a little something else, but just let me just share what you use so that I'll, I'll know when I can go and try that as well. And also the Alexa Crispy Bite Sweet Potato Puffs. These are excellent. They taste just like you've got them at a restaurant. If you put them in the oven for 350 for about 20 minutes, they are so, so good and crisp. They're so good. Please try those if you haven't tried those before. And I got some of the shredded carrots to put on a salad. I've gotten to where I'll just go ahead and get the shredded carrots instead of shredding them from the larger stalked carrots. It just makes it a lot easier and much more time, time savings on my part when I'm fixing dinner. And then I got two of the avocados and I have a guacamole recipe on the channel if you haven't seen that already. But what I do is I take the avocados, I add these tortilla strips with a little bit of lemon juice and it's so yummy. It's just enough salt that it takes care of that salt flavor that is so good with avocados if you don't like avocados by themselves in which I like a little bit of the salt flavor. You can see here that two tablespoons, there's 35 calories. The sodium is only 15 milligrams. Total carbs is four. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's much better I think than taking a salt shaker and using so much salt with the avocado or the guacamole dip. And another item that I found today at Harris Teeter that I haven't seen before is the Panera Bread at Home Fuji Apple Vinaigrette Dressing. I'm so excited to find this. I love the Fuji Apple Salad at Panera Bread. So I'm gonna to try to recreate that and I really hope that works out. I got some of the iceberg lettuce. I didn't get some of the other lettuce this time. I'm just going to go ahead and use iceberg. I just want a little bit of lettuce with everything and I like to use the iceberg lettuce on sandwiches and also on hamburgers as well. So that's why I got the iceberg this time and I'm going to just use that for the salads. We've already shared the tortilla strips. If you haven't tried these, these are very, very good. They're also good if you have a sandwich for lunch or dinner and you just want something to snack on or if you want something that's similar to a potato chip with the crispiness. These are really good to try. I also got the Planters Nutrition Omega-3 Mix. This has the cashews, walnuts, raisins, cinnamon apple pieces, which are so, so good with a touch of sea salt. Just a little bit of salt. It's not a whole lot like you find in a lot of nuts, but I'll share with you the back real quick. It's two tablespoons, 160 calories. The total fat is 11. It is, um, the trans fat is zero. Um, cholesterol zero, the sodium is 25 milligrams and the total carbs is 12. So you can see here where it does have a little bit of a small magnesium, zinc, copper, and magnesium. So these are really, really good. And I, I love to snack on these. I also like to put these on the salad. And there are the fresh gourmet wonton strips. What I like to do is to use these in the place of potato chips. I love potato chips, but I also like something crispy with sandwiches and sometimes just as a snack. And I'll share real quickly with you on these. 
Two tablespoons is calories 35, the total fat is two. Cholesterol zero, sodium is 30 milligrams with the total carbs four milligrams. Has a touch of potassium, five milligrams, but these are really, really good if you just want something crispy like a potato chip, but you don't want the calories of a potato chip. This is what I use now and it works for me. I mean, it's just, it kind of switches my mind off that I've got something crunchy like a potato chip, but I'm not eating the chips. And also I got three of the oranges. I love eating oranges each morning. I also like taking these and putting them into my water that I use in the mornings with my lemons. So I got three of the oranges. And also, of course, I got three Dawns. It was three, three for three dollars. So a dollar a piece. So I thought that was a really good idea to go ahead and purchase those. So I wanted to share that with everyone. So a really good quick idea, like I said, with the avocados, take your avocados, cut it up, add their tortilla strips and a little bit of lemon juice. It's so yummy. Please try it. It's so good. And then with your salads, try the Panera Bread Fuji Apple if you haven't ever had that. It is so yummy. And also I add the Omega-3, about two tablespoons of that to my salad. And I put some of the wonton strips on them as well. Or you can put their tortilla strips as well. Some restaurants do that. I got the idea from some restaurants and I thought it was a cool idea. And now when I make my salads, it tastes just like it does at the restaurants. So there everyone, I just wanted to share everyone a quick Harris Teeter grocery haul and a few lunch and dinner ideas. So thanks everyone for visiting Bistro Buzz TV. Please like and subscribe. And also please leave a comment again on the type of mayonnaise you use. Do you use Kraft? Do you use Dukes? I'm interested in knowing so that I can venture out and try some different brands of mayo. So please come back and visit us again soon. Thanks everyone.